Hi, I'm Karen and this is Friends Faves. Welcome everyone. We are being hosted tonight by Kestrel Vintners in their beautiful tasting room. And I have Rebecca J. Clark, I know her as Becky, and <laughs> she is going to be sharing with us tonight. She is a USA Today best-selling author and she is going to be sharing her book called The Checklist Diet with us. And not only is she an author, she is a well sought out personal trainer at Thrive. Um, Fitness in Monroe, in Monroe. and um, she's going to be um, just giving us some tips on how to be healthy, how to eat healthy, um, maybe a way to eat better and uh, maybe lose a few pounds while we're at it. Who knows? So welcome. <laughs> I'm so you. glad you're here with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how you started writing this book. Who is it for? Or what's the concept? And Well, I've been a personal trainer for about 13 years okay. and I've worked with many, many people and the biggest issue people have is their diet. So yes. you could work out, you cannot out work out or out exercise a bad diet, unfortunately, because if you could, I would look like Cindy Crawford. <laughs> um, <laughs> Seriously, so um, a good diet is probably 80% of your success, so you could be working out every day and if you're not eating well, you're just not going to see the results you want. You're going to be really disappointed and think you're wasting your time. And even though you're doing good things for your body by working out, you're not going to see the results you want. And so I decided to put up um, a checklist together, it's just 10 things and they're basic steps that I tell my clients because I don't believe in overhauling your diet. I believe in making little changes. So like when I first meet with a new client, I find out what's their worst nutritional habit and we focus oh. on that. And it might be eating when I'm not hungry. So we'll focus on that. Once they master that, that might be all they have to do. And then we'll go to a different step. Oh, okay. So this is, um, I read the book and I just, I really like, and I've been adding in steps mm -hmm. to like you were talking about. And it's kind of um, the book, and I think you said it too, that it's the diet for somebody who never wants to diet. Mm -hmm. And because that's me, it's like, if you tell me I can't have something, I'll go have five. Absolutely. <laughs> I like that too. It's like your little kid having yeah, a tantrum. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. Look, I can have that and yeah. I'll, I'll just work out more later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's what a lot of us do. And a lot of people try to diet and then I think you said it, they gain, gain the weight back once they go back to their regular eating habits. Yeah. So if you don't tell yourself you're going on a diet, tell yourself you're changing your eating habits because if you go on a diet, you're going to eventually go off it. And unless you're dieting for like a a wedding or a vacation or something, try to change your habits because there's great diets out there, there's a bazillion diets, all of them will help you lose weight. Most of them will probably not help you keep it off unless it's something, so if you go on a plan, if it's not something you can see yourself doing for the rest of your life, then it's not the plan for you unless it's a short term thing. So that's why um, this plan is great, it's just, it's just little steps and you might not need to follow all of them, you might pick one or two things. Maybe your issue is you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, well then focus on that and that might be all you need to do. Um, and I believe in if your diet is accurate 80% of the time and you're working out most days of the week, however your body looks, just be accepted, accepted of it and uh, like who you are. Yes. Yeah. And then one of the things I like about the checklist is that um, you say you can grade yourself. And yes. you don't always have to get an A, which yeah. is okay with me because, yeah. yeah. So sometimes I can have a B or a C Absolutely. <laughs> on my checklist and still so, be doing okay. So if on the plan there's 10 steps you want to take, um, you don't have to do them all every day. Ideally, you're going to do most of them. If you do 80% of them, that's a B average and that's pretty darn good. So if you do 80%, let's say you know you're going to a place like this and you want to have a few glasses of wine. Okay, mm -hmm. now you've dropped yourself down to a 90%. whoop de doo you still have a 90%. Yeah. Okay, I want some dessert over kit there. Now you've dropped yourself down to 80%. You still had a great day. You've had a B average day. You're doing good. So just be nice to yourself. Yeah, excellent. I so... Keep moving away. No, okay. <laughs> you just got the camera. <laughs> I'll just keep putting you back into the camera. So what is, what do you think is, is there one um, step that is more important than another? Is there like one, so you, there you talk about wa you know, having water mm -hmm. or fiber and, and just those just basic steps that we should probably all be following anyway in our diet. It depends what your goal is. If you're looking okay. to be healthier, then I would say make sure you're getting enough fruits and vegetables in your diet. If that's the only change you make, and I think I recommend mm -hmm. nine fruits and vegetables and that's combined, and it's just a half a cup as a serving, it's not very much. If you do just that, you're gonna be healthier than 90% of the people out there. Um, the habit that's most important for me, if I eat and I wait until I'm hungry to eat, that's all I need to do because I eat enough fruits and vegetables naturally, but I'm an emotional eater, which means I eat if I'm happy or sad or bored <laughs> or nervous, oh. so I was over there chowing. Um, but if I wait until oh, I'm hungry really. and I eat until I'm satisfied, that's really all I need to do to get my diet in order. And so you might just find that one step that's the only thing you have to do to change and that's magic for you. So how can people find you? How can they buy your book? 
Um, well, you can go onto my website. It's RebeccaJClark.com, and I actually write romance novels, which is where I got my USA bestseller status. And my sister, I have to point out, my sister Lori London is also here. She's also an author. And she's a New York Times bestselling author. So check out her stuff at LoriLondon.com. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find my books on my website, RebeccaJClark.com, or on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. And I have a few copies here. They're ten dollars each. Um, and this also includes it's the book, but it also includes a journal for about three months. Or if you don't want a real book and you want a Kindle book or something, it's um, you can get it, go to Amazon or Nook or Kobo or wherever you want to go. Okay. So. Okay. Great. Awesome. So you can pick up your summer reads with you, and you'll be set for absolutely good cool, beach cool side. Yep. You bet. Excellent. Well, thank you for being with thank us. Thank you for having me. And if any of you ladies have any questions for Rebecca um, about working out, make sure that you stop her and ask her. Absolutely. I'm sure she'd be happy to help you. Yeah. And yeah. Well, thank you for right. coming. Thank you very much for having right. me. Okay, great. Thanks for coming to Friends Babes, and thank you for joining us this evening at Kestrel Vintners. Nurse.